Hey everyone, I'm so excited to talk to you about my book called God, Where Are You? It's a book about the season of the wilderness. What's the wilderness? It's when God seems like he's a million miles away and his promises are even further. It is a very valid time that all the great men and women of the Bible walk through. And what is the purpose of this? Why would God even allow this for his children? Number one, it grows you up. Number two, it's a season in which humility is produced in our life. Number three, it's a season of self-discovery. We find out what's in us. Number four, it's a season in which we are refined. Number five, it's a season where he builds our strength. And this is the one I wanna talk about in this session. It is the season of revelation. Now this is the thing that's most exciting to me. It is in the desert. Listen to this scripture, Isaiah 40 verses three through five. Make straight in the desert a highway for our God. Every valley shall be exalted. Every mountain and hill brought low. In other words, all forms of pride are brought low. The crooked places are made straight and the rough places smooth. Now watch this. The glory of the Lord shall be revealed. The greatness of our God is revealed. The wilderness is the time which God reveals himself. Now think about this with me, okay? You've got Moses. Moses goes on the backside of the desert for 40 years, and that's where God reveals himself to Moses in the burning bush. David is living in wildernesses, right? He's out there. That's when God reveals himself to him as his rock, his fortress, his shield. If you look at, Mo, at Abraham, God tells him to offer up Isaac. What a wilderness that was. And all of a sudden now, when he obeys God in that wilderness, God reveals himself to, to Abraham as Jehovah Jireh. Nobody had ever known that facet of God's personality before. If you look at the Apostle John on the deserted island of Patmos, and what happens? He gets the revelation of Jesus Christ. Look at John the Baptist. This is absolutely amazing when you think about it. John the Baptist, all of his friends are going to study under Gamaliel. They're all going to become pastors in the synagogues. They're going to get their certificate of ordination. But the Lord says, hey, hey. I want you to go to the desert. Desert, John. He's training 30 years for a six-month ministry, but Jesus says he's the greatest prophet to be ever born of women. Look at Elisha. Elisha, God tells him, hey, I, I just want you to wash the hands of Elijah. I want you to just follow him. Wherever he goes, you go with him. And all the guys at the school of the prophets, they're making fun of him. But yet God reveals himself to an Elisha in a profound way. And I want to go back to John the Baptist. You actually have a scripture in the Bible. In Luke, it says Annas and Caiaphas were high priests. So they're doing their religious thing. They got their ordination papers, right? But now watch this. But the word of the Lord came to John the Baptist in the desert, and all of Israel went out to hear him. John got the word of the Lord in the wilderness. The wilderness is the place that God reveals himself to us. Some of the greatest revelations I've ever received have come in the hardest times of my life, and I've taught mostly from them. Maybe 80% of the teaching comes from those times. Don't fight the wilderness. Cooperate with it and allow God to reveal himself to you in a magnificent way.